Today, we're going to use Illustrator brushes, masks, and other techniques to make this neat icon design. So let's jump right into it. So make sure that you've got the stroke selected only in the color palette located in the bottom left of your screen, and then press P for the pen tool. Hold down Shift, and then click to make a perfectly straight line like so. Increase the stroke weight, and then apply the same stroke style that I'm going to use on my line here. Outline the stroke to turn it into a vector shape and ensure that you're using a deep black for your design. Now by holding down the auth option key and then clicking and dragging, create a duplication below. Rotate this by 180 degrees and place it exactly below the first one. For the second shape, we need to apply a dark grey colour and not a white. This is going to benefit us later when we apply a mask to our design. Bring down a guide, and if you don't have the rulers open, press Command or Control R. And then we need to make the selection of the two shapes as level as possible with the guide. So once ready, duplicate the selection below perfectly and then press Command or Control D to repeat the process a few more times over. So we're nearly ready to make the Illustrator brush for the icon design. But first, press M for the rectangle tool and then create a shape over the selection like so. Select everything and then right or Control click the selection to generate a clipping mask. Now we do this just because it tidies up the edges so the selection isn't jagged. To actually revert the selection back into individual vector shapes, we can use the trim function in the Pathfinder window. The clipping mask that we just used basically compiled the shapes together and this reverts them back. We're now ready to make the brush for our design, so head into the brushes window and then click the top right fly down menu to create a new brush. You need to do this whilst your shapes are selected. We're going to use a pattern brush today and the default settings should be just fine for your design. Now the brush is ready to make the actual icon design. So go ahead and press L for the ellipse tool and then create a stroke circle by holding down shift. With the circle selected, click the brush that we've just made in the brushes window. Illustrator is going to apply the brush stroke to the shape and then scale down the circle until the middle either has no hole or a very small one. The next step is essential to follow along with so do follow along carefully. Press C for the scissors tool and then click the right anchor point and also the top one. This is going to cut 90 degree section from our circle. Now reflect this section on a horizontal plane in the reflect menu and then rotate it by 90 degrees. Select every part of the icon design and rotate it by 90 degrees. So now the cutout section should be in the top left. Using the Alt Option key, duplicate the design and then nudge it over so it's exactly in the same position that you can see on screen now. Okay, now rotate the original section by 180 degrees. And then bring this part right here to the very front of all layers. We now have the icon design, and you can adjust the placement perfectly by nudging it to the right. But finally, we need to add some colour, which does require that we perform some specific moves. But firstly, if you try to resize your design, it's going to do some funky things, and that's because it's still a stroke. So go ahead and expand your design like so. Now move the icon off to the side somewhere 
and copy it with Command or Control C. Now, create a gradient rectangle with the Rectangle tool. And head into the Transparency window. With the rectangle selected, make a mask in the Transparency window and then click the right hand box and press Command or Control V to paste the icon design in. Position it properly and then invert the mask. To actually move the entire design around, click the left screen in the transparency window which will allow you to do that. So there is today's tutorial on how to make an icon design using Illustrator brushes, as well as other techniques. If you want to continue learning skills and bettering yourself as a designer, subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content. Like and share my content on social media, and of course have a great day, and until next time, design your future today. Peace.